It's election day tomorrow in Missouri. There are only a few things on the ballot in our area. One question could have a big impact for teachers and staff and independents. KNBC 9's Matt Evans is here explaining the decision ahead. Special. Angie Acevedo spent the day working at the cafeteria at the Independent School District Central Office. Do you want to do this one? She can't wait to get back into a school soon. Working with the kids, seeing their smiles every day, and they, they like to be fed, so. <laughs> She's the kitchen manager at Luff Elementary, but spends her summers here. To supplement my income, to make extra money, so. That's why I'm hoping the tax passed. She's one of the hundreds of independent school district employees that would see their salaries increase if voters approve a new tax levy tomorrow. It's going to be able to provide raises for employees as well as enhancing their benefits. And District Superintendent Dr. Dale Hurl says the overall tax burden will actually decrease if the levy is approved. It really is a win-win in this situation. The district would increase their operating levy by eight cents, but decrease their debt levy by 40 cents, dropping the total levy by 32 cents. And the reason we're able to do that is because our assessed valuation for the district came in higher than what we expected. There you go. Back at the cafeteria, Acevedo is hopeful that it will pass. It's very important. It keeps the morale up and it helps, uh, of course, with our families and us wanting to keep coming back to work. There are some questions about exactly how much this will raise for the district because of all of the appeals to Jackson County property tax assessments. They can't have an exact number just yet, but their best guess is somewhere between nine and $10 million if it passes. In Independence, Matt Evans, KBC 9 News.